Data shows car theft is on the rise across the nation. Yeah, there are a lot of people who have been the victims of carjackings and robberies at gas stations. But take a look at some of the United States' biggest cities seeing a huge increase in car thefts. One particular kind of theft is causing some issues because manufacturers are so backed up with having the part available. Drivers are stranded. Our Kelsey Kernstein is live right now. She's digging into the story. Uh, Kelsey, good morning. Adrian and Mitch, good morning. Talk about frustrating for drivers, but if you park your car on the side of the street like this one, on your driveway, well, you run the risk of getting your catalytic converter stolen. And to make matters worse, like you said, getting these parts can take months, which means you won't be able to drive your car. I've had a customer that has had three converters stolen on their car within six months. You never think it's going to be your car until it is. And it took them a minute and 20 seconds. That's how long it takes thieves to get under the bottom of your car and saw out a catalytic converter and run off with it. The problem is it can now take months to get another certified catalytic converter for your car. I'm still waiting for my mechanic to let me know that the part's available, but he said four to six weeks and could be longer. The parts are back ordered because the thefts are rampant and increasing exponentially. It's been astronomical. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, in 2019, nearly 3,400 catalytic converter theft claims were made nationwide. It shot up to more than 52,000 in 2021. And in 2022, the number was on pace to hit nearly 80,000. Some of the most at-risk cars for catalytic converter thefts are Ford F-Series, Honda Accords, and Toyota Priuses, to name a few. But why do thieves want to use converter? It's because of the precious metal that's inside a catalytic converter. They uh, contain platinum, palladium, and rhodium, and they're at a very high price now. Driving the car without the converter is really not an option. It sounded like a hot rod, <laughs> like a really, really loud sound, and like, you know, kind of like get the attention of the neighbors sort of sound. And when law enforcement does crack a case, jailing thieves and finding hundreds of stolen converters, there's no way to figure out which car it belongs to. And if you do get your catalytic converter, if you get it stolen, depending on your insurance, it can cost anywhere between $900 and $5,500. But I do want to show you what thieves do. They actually jack up the car, they go underneath, and then they cut out, saw out that converter. Now, the best thing you can do to keep your car safe, because you can buy locks, but they're now sawing through these locks. The best thing you can do is to park your car in a secured garage. Adrian. Kelsey, I, I, again, not everybody has a garage. Right, but this if that's is, an option for you, that's yeah, great. Yeah, but this is something that is happening, and people should be made aware of the fact that you're not going to be able to just replace it right away if you have that happen to you. Or maybe you can't fit your giant truck in a locked garage. Some of us have that problem. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.